Hi, my name is Derek Garcia with LearnSBOM.com, and today I will be reviewing the SBDX tool for Python. This tool was built with Python and has the ability to parse and convert SBDX formatted files. Installation can be done one of two ways. First, we'd be downloading the source code from GitHub and directly installing it, or use a pip install. In this case, I chose the former. I found I had issues running the tool with pip, it wouldn't recognize it, but when directly from GitHub, it worked fine. The documentation also recommends that this be done in a virtual environment, which I will do. Currently, I'm working in a Ubuntu server environment. First, I'll clone the directory straight from GitHub. There we go. And I will change into that directory. And we can see all our files here. So now I will set up the virtual environment. This will take a moment, but just as a note, since I'm running Linux, this will be a little differently if you were to do this on a Windows machine. I will link an article in the description below on how to set up the environment, both in Linux and Windows. There we go. And I can activate the environment, the following command, and we can see that our environment is running. So I do a list, you should see there's nothing in there. To install the tool, I'll simply just pip install directly in the, the working directory as such. There we go. I do that once again. You can see all the information is now installed. And we're ready to go. So first I'll demo the parser function. It should be noted it doesn't work directly with SBDX files, rather their variants such as tag or RDF, but it presents the information in more human readable format. We can view the full list of commands and flags here. There's not too many, but they work. A target file can be given, otherwise one will be requested. So, for example, if I pass in this, they do provide example SBOM files for you to test. As you can see, Bob and Alice. There we go. And if I just type parser, it'll ask for that file again. If I just pass it to it, there we go. Now I'll show the converter function. At the moment, only RDF and tag files are the only supported input, and the output supports tag, RDF, JSON, YAML, and XML. So we can list the full view of commands here. There we go. For a simple example, I'll just convert these files. And there we go. So if I, there we go, we got the output YAML there. If I just, there we go. We can see that file there. However, this tool only works with the to and from flags. There are in and out flags you can pass, but unfortunately they don't seem to be working at the moment. And this kind of leads into the larger problem of this tool is its compatibility. All the examples have been provided from, from the tool, but using any outside resources from say other generators or things like that have lackluster results. They either don't accept the input, so I'll use the parser function with some source data from another tool. And we can see it doesn't really like it, or on the occasion it does work, and these source files are all the, the same. Let's fix that right there. These source files are all from the same SBOM. We can see it generates some information, but it seems to lose a lot of information. This is the full file. There are a lot of IDs and elements that are clearly not present in the, the parser. Overall, this tool shows it's capable of working with SBOMs, but the fact that it struggles with outside SBOMs kind of weakens its potential. The fact that it's a standalone program and can't be directly, easily di directly integrated into a project is also kind of unfortunate. However, sbdx.org, the vendor for this particular tool, does have other tools uh, which seem to work a lot better than these. So I would highly suggest if you're looking to work with SBDX SBOMs, to take a look at what other options they provide. 
But that's the end of this video. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at learnsbomb.com. Thank you for checking out this video. If you really liked it, be sure to check out our other videos right here. And then you can also subscribe right up top here. And again, thank you. Bye-bye.